what I see in 20 years times that uh, how we manage assets uh, is going to rely heavily on artificial intelligence that uh, sustainable investment will become a norm uh, before 20 years, uh, hopefully, and uh, that uh, the businesses will transform uh, themselves really, really radically. But how? Uh, only time will tell. Transformation. So over the next 20 years, what transformation do you foresee based on your industry, your organization, and your personal life in the EU? Well, the word transformation is uh, something which we ask ourselves uh, numerous uh, times. Uh, I believe there are two factors, two, 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 two driving forces of the transformation in the asset management industry. One is sustainability, which is uh, answer to uh, the environmental challenges we are facing. And the other there is technological, uh, namely artificial intelligence. Nobody really knows uh, how the transformation is going to look like. Uh, definitely, uh, the definitely is that uh, it will significantly impact the business models and the way how we do business. And uh, normally we implement uh, the business strategy of both uh, artificial intelligence and sustainability. What I see in 20 years times is that uh, um, how we manage assets uh, is going to rely heavily on artificial intelligence that uh, sustainable investment will become a norm uh, before 20 years, uh, hopefully, and uh, that uh, the businesses will transform uh, themselves really, really radically. But how, uh, only time will tell. You're right. History will tell us um, how successful we've been. Now, looking at the economy and the job market, so with, also within the next decade, or the next two decades, who do you believe can match the current performance and output that, that Germany has? Within, within Europe? Well, for uh, this catch-up uh, to about to happen, uh, you, of course, you need growth. And growth, growth uh, rely on innovation, uh, on motivation, uh, on uh, the business friendli friendliness of the, of the economy. What I see in the last 20 or 30 years is uh, that most of the countries of Central Europe uh, are actually transforming themselves. Uh, they are changes the normality and uh, that's uh, I believe that uh, the greatest potential uh, to catch up to the level of uh, Western Western Europe uh, Western European countries uh, come from the central central U European uh, countries and Poland seems to be like a natural candidate but also what's important is obviously the continued appeal for investments so you know the security around that appeal is also very important what do you think you know and you mentioned Poland, so Poland and also maybe CE need to do to continue or maybe attract and secure this investment over the next couple of decades. Well, that, this is a question where the answer is relatively simple, uh, but the implementation is uh, pretty, pretty much difficult. Uh, of course, a country has to create a business, business friendly environment. Uh, meaning that uh, there is really this wish to grow the businesses, to, to help uh, the, the entrepreneurship, uh, to help the entrepreneurs to thrive uh, and to make it easy, to have some kind of a stretch, strategy what to do with the economy. And of course, uh, to provide talent. Talent uh, is crucial for the next uh, 10, 20 years, meaning school system, meaning uh, attracting talent and works, workforce outside of the countries, I think uh, this is the way forward, how to, how to um, grow the economy at a uh, much higher rate than we are growing right now. Now, a personal question. So if a young 20-year-old comes to you and says, Mr. Yosha, what advice do you have for me, for me to become successful in the future? Um, what would you say? Well, it actually means what's the definition of success? This is a rather philosophical question, but uh, but I believe uh, that uh, staying curious uh, is uh, the right answer to this question. If, uh, as a young person, uh, we are curious, uh, I'm curious, or you're curious, you're open to new ideas, uh, you want to make some kind of an impact, that's the right path to success. And uh, one other thing it's important, uh, inclusivity. Uh, 
young person, young people do want to change uh, a lot of things, and rightly so, and hopefully so. But uh, if you're exclusive, uh, if you don't include someone or something you want to change, you won't change it. And I think that's uh, something we all have to have in mind. No, thanks. So if you had a, a magic lamp and you were able to give or make a wish, a wish for the future, a better future, what would that wish be? Well, given uh, the magnitude of changes that are happening and the magnitude of uh, challenging challenges the world, the, the world is facing, uh, my wish would be that uh, we all learn uh, from uh, you know, what we are currently in uh, as societies and uh, crises are always uh, an opportunity as well. And uh, I hope that we take this opportunity we have now and to make things uh, better in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for You're joining welcome. us. You're welcome. Thank you.